Yes, you. Don't let the fear of failure or the concern about what others might think of you stand in your way. Have you ever heard of the concept mommy guilt? It's a real thing. In fact, it has resulted in plenty of women giving up on their career plans and higher education plans very easily. Some of my friends have done the same and it's really disappointing. Mommy guilt arises when women feel the necessity to put aside all of their passions and you know to raise a family or care for others. This is a result of years of nurturing of women and teaching them how compromising is really important and how it is a very very important part of their life and if they don't do it they're doing something wrong. What most women do not realize is that to achieve a few goals, sometimes you have to be selfish and that is perfectly okay because if you want to help others, first you need to help yourself and for that, you gotta be selfish in some or the other way. This leads us to our next excuse of not doing what you really want to do, which is what will they think? By they, I mean people. Remember that there are two types of people in the world. One, judgmental jerks who have got nothing else better to do and then we have non-judgmental nice people. Most of the world is filled with those judgmental people and they'll judge you for whatever you do. I remember when I finished my engineering and I wanted to be a writer and how I expressed this whole idea to a friend and he was very very negative about it. He was like, you know, I mean you're good with what you're doing. Why do you have to go all out of the way and, you know, ex experiment with something new? You're, you're supposed to risk a lot of things and your family, they might not be happy, blah, 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 blah. The thing is, he wanted me to conform to the more idealistic ways that he thought were right. The ideas that he thought were correct for achieving success. And also for women, it is very easy, you know, to follow a certain path. You don't have to think out of the box. You don't have to go out of your ways to do anything. Today, when I tell him that I'm a successful writer, he's the one who tells me, you did the right thing. You chose the correct path. It's, it's good that you didn't listen to me. People usually judge you on the basis of your success or failure which is totally independent from what you are and what you want to be. So you might as well follow your heart and stop wasting your time on worrying about what others might say or what others might think. If next time you're considering uh, doing something different than what you want to do only because of the fear of judgment from others, you might want to let that thought go. Fear of what others might think is closely related to another excuse for not pursuing your personal goals which is fear of failure. What happens? What will people say, think or do if I do not succeed? I've, I stumbled upon this really amazing quote on social media once which said, women are not allowed to fail at their craft because if they do, it's a statement on the entire gender. Indirectly, we are taught that since our childhood, like most women are taught that since their childhood that you know, you're not allowed to fail. If you fail, it is because you are a woman, which is really, really stupid. Yes, sometimes your best efforts may result in uh, tears and embarrassment, but all the failures you've witnessed, all the mistakes you've made only make you, you know, more strengthened and uh, gives you, brings you valuable lessons so that the next time you take up on a challenge, you're stronger, you're better. In fact, life successes are made all the more beautiful by the failures that come in the way. Ultimately, when you let your worries about other people's opinions get in the way, you are giving up your power and letting others dictate your life. Remember, only you know what's best for you. I mean, you've spent all, of, all these years with yourself, decades for that matter. And someone just coming and meeting you for 15 minutes, uh, an hour, a few days, a few months, can't tell you who you are. You know yourself better than anyone. So do what you want to do and go out there and win the world.